Welcome to the Mechanic Desk Help Videos. In this tutorial we will show you how to manage inventories, to create and add stock to invoices, track stock levels and set up alerts to notify you of critical levels of specific items. Log into the website and click on the Inventory tab to view the current list of stock items. Click on the New Stock button to add a new item to the list. Enter the relevant description details for the new stock item. Note that you can add a new category if required. Enter a value in the quantity field to enable tracking and stock alerts for this stock item as we will demonstrate shortly. Enter the price at which the item is purchased and sold for. Note that you can also enter four levels of selling prices to allow for discounting, for example. Enter the supplier name if you wish. Note the new button to add a new supplier to the list. Click on save once you are done to return to the stocks list. To locate your new stock item from the list, you can use the search field. Click on it to see a summary of the information we entered earlier, including the current quantity. Note also the provision to track purchase and sales histories and set up a stock alert. To set up a stock alert for this stock item, click on the Enable button and add the value below which an alert notification is to be raised. We shall demonstrate how this works shortly. To add your new stock item to a job, click on the Jobs tab and select a job from the Unpaid Jobs list. In the Invoice section, click on the Add Item button, start typing the category name and select the stock item from the pop-up menu. Enter the quantity and price level. Note the provision to pre-configure individual customers with custom price levels that will be reverted to automatically. Click on Save to update your changes. Note that finalising the invoice by clicking on the Finalise button will also update the current stock levels and if that number is below the stock alert level we set up earlier, a notification will appear next to the Notifications tab in the toolbar. Click on the tab to see a list of notifications. Click on the relevant item to see more information. 